Jeff Monson, Pat Apano, Arnold Schwarzenegger. What happens when you put those things together? All hell breaks loose, apparently. Guys, Ricardo Amadoli here, and I want to take a closer look back at a historical, maybe notorious event that happened in grappling history here in North America. Of course, I'm talking about the Arnold Gracie incident, the notorious incident of 2004. Um, you know, the Arnold Gracie tournament, whatever it was called, I can't remember the exact name, but the Gracie, the Arnolds, everyone referred to it as the Arnolds for a long period of time. It's pretty much one of the premier events in North America. Uh, at that time, there was events like Naga, Grappler's Quest, but uh, the Arnolds, you know, having the prestige of being one of the first tournaments in North America, being affiliated with Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Fitness Expo, it was a really, really big thing. Tournament was massive. It was a huge open tournament in the Gi, and then they had a Nogi portion of it. It was like a Nogi Pro Division. A lot of the top names at the time competed in a who's who of submission grappling. The Ribeiro brothers, Salo Shanji, Rafael Lovato, Vitor Shalo Ribeiro, uh, Marcelo Garcia competed in it. But, uh, you know, when we talk about the Pro Divisions, one incident in particular, you know, never seems to be forgotten for the, you know, the OGs of the community here. And, of course, I'm talking about the Petipano and Jeff Monson incident of 2004. So what happened? Basically, they're in the finals of their division. There was three divisions, a light, middle, and heavy, I believe. They were in the finals. And there was a controversy over uh, the rule of the can opener. I believe that the can opener was allowed to open the guard, but you could not do it as a submission. So something happened, you know, I mean, you got to kind of look at the video for yourself. To, I'm not going to pass judgment. All I know is it was crazy. It was memorable. But one of the funniest things that came out of it was at the end, a little bit of comic relief with Mr. International himself, Mr. Shoney Cardo. So wait to the end of the video to check that out. And guys, uh, before I switch to the video, I, I you know I want to thank everyone for watching. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers on my channel right now. I can't thank you guys enough. I got more content coming soon, uh, more classic matches, more breakdowns, more history videos. Uh, you know, coming on your way on a weekly basis. I'm gonna try my best to kind of keep pumping those out. So I got one request for you guys: if you could please give me a little like and hit the subscribe button if you're watching this video, it means so much to me. And now. Let's roll the film. Vai passar, vai passar. 
cool and everything, but uh, I, I don't like it. Yeah! What they say? Eu bati, não pode ter mais luta. Eu bati, eu bati. Eu bati. Que dia que não é? Eu bati. Eu bati. submission tournaments go wrong. <laughs> Politics at its best. What we have is a mass hysteria and confusion. We like to say this is not a true representation of mixed martial arts. We're going to step out of the way while they're announcing what the hell's going on. As you have seen, there's been a melee, a brouhaha. If I were refereeing, I would make sure that they would do extreme fighting valley tudo. <laughs> we have a case of two different camps having a disagreement fisticuffs, if you will. This is supposed to be a, a coming together of camps and schools. The 
the Bushido way. <laughs> it's not happening.